morning and welcome in this season of kidney diseases today we are going to talk about an important condition which is kidney cancer most cancers are obviously very important because of the word cancer itself which means they can be life threatening conditions however kidney cancer is important because it is becoming increasingly common and one of the reasons it is becoming increasingly common is because more ct scans and mri scans are being performed as compared to about a decade ago so these cancers are picked up much earlier much quicker as early kidney cancers have very few symptoms if kidney cancer is picked up later on then the outcome is not as good as compared to an early kidney cancer in adults commonest type of kidney cancer is called renal cell carcinoma and in children it's called wilms tumor the symptoms of kidney cancer include blood in the urine abdominal pain or back pain and usually pain is in the flanks so in the angle in the back next to the spine between the ribs and the spine which is called the kidney angle or the renal angle weight loss patients start losing weight because they have no more appetite don't want to eat any food sometimes they can get fever as well however important thing to look in all these symptoms is that these are the symptoms of quite advanced kidney cancer if it at this stage the kidney cancer has spread say for example into the lungs or the bones then the patient get get symptoms of pain in the bones and also coughing and even bringing up blood in the sputum when they cough if the kidney cancer has already spread into the lungs many kidney cancers when they are picked up early have no symptoms whatsoever and the aim of the exercise is to pick up kidney cancers at an early stage so chance of cure is very good for the patients so what can put us at a risk of developing kidney cancer kidney cancer is more common in older age so over the age of 50 and 60 young people sometimes can get kidney cancer however it is not so common as i said in children kidney cancer which is called wilms tumor can happen obesity is a risk factor smoking like many other cancers can also increase the risk of kidney cancer patient who suffer from high blood pressure has a high risk patients who have kidney disease and resulting in kidney failure so they are requiring kidney dialysis to keep their blood clean then they are at a high risk of developing kidney cancer i think one of the reasons for this is because they already have an underlying kidney disease which increases the risk of kidney cancer anyway a family history of kidney cancer also increases the risk of kidney cancer in the siblings and in children so how is kidney cancer diagnosed as i said earlier sometimes kidney cancers are diagnosed incidentally which means a test is being done for some other condition and on the scan or blood test or urine test there might be a suspicion of kidney cancer for example somebody's blood test is done to check for blood count etc because they're looking very tired losing weight etc and their blood count comes back as very low and then when the urine is tested it might show blood in the urine which means they're losing blood in the urine sometimes the blood in the urine is not visible is under the microscope only and that might represent the days underlying possibility of kidney cancer sometimes there can be so much blood in the urine that the urine actually looks red or looks like the color of coca cola an ultrasound scan or ct scan or mri scan are all good tests to pick up the presence of kidney cancer CT MRI obviously are more sensitive to pick up smaller kidney cancers as compared to ultrasound. At times a biopsy may be necessary to take a sample and it is done in a local anesthetic with a small needle put in the side of the tummy to take a few cells out of the kidney from a suspected area which will show whether there is a kidney cancer present or not. So what is the treatment for kidney cancer early kidney cancer which is confined to the kidney is very small requires that cancer to be removed by surgery either the whole kidney might need to be removed or sometime only part of the kidney will have to be removed and that will cure the cancer 
and no further treatment will be required. Treatment changes when the cancer becomes very advanced, which means that the cancer in the kidney is quite large and has spread outside the kidney. Not just into the surrounding areas sometimes, it has also spread to the places like bone, the lungs and the brain, etc. Many of these patients will still require surgery to remove the kidney. The reason is because a large cancer in the kidney can still cause symptoms of pain, might still cause symptoms of losing blood, etc. Sometimes if surgery is not possible, then the kidney cancer can be burnt either with cold needles put into the kidney or very hot needles put into the kidney. And they can burn the kidney cancer cells to control the size of the cancer and the symptoms from the cancer. However, these are not curative treatments. Certain drugs are available which target specifically the kidney cancer cells and these can be used to control the kidney cancer, not just in the kidney but also spread from the cancer into different parts of our body. Immune treatment is a treatment which enhances our own immunity. As you know, immunity in our body helps fight infections, but also helps us fight cancers. And some of these medications can be used to fight against kidney cancer. Radiation treatment, which is extra treatment. If the kidney cancer has spread to the bones or to the brain, then this treatment can be used to control the symptoms from that spread because Bony spread can be very painful and obviously the spread to the brain can be very quickly life-threatening. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, then please remember to like and subscribe to our educational channel. If you have any questions, then do please write them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer those questions. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care.